Hello, I'm here on Chertsey from this busy, noisy Monday afternoon. Hopefully now the fires are out and the dust has settled, our city could be turned to some form of normality. But let's not let the politicians use this as an excuse in their crusade against the so-called far right to brush under the carpet the issue of cultural change, our city is now undergoing. A profound change is underway that if not stopped, we will indeed lose our unique Scouse character traditions and cultural identity. The screenshot, Ian Byrne on the steps of St. George's Hall, fighting the so-called far right, getting on his pedestal, the saviour of the working class and the people of Liverpool against the evil threat of the far right, Christ. You see, sir, do you really believe those in the two videos you've just watched, if you're watching this video. Or your working class brothers in the class struggle. Do you really believe that? You can't be that naive to believe they are now your working class brothers in the class struggle. You see, there is no working class politics, working class struggle anymore. And I'll tell you why. There isn't a working class in the true sense of the word, like the 70s and 80s. We don't have a manufacturing industry, a steel industry, a coal industry. So there is no working class in the true sense of the word. Your politics are outdated and redundant, so you need to move at the time, but you're not. You're stuck in this silly 1970s mindset, the class struggle. Like I said, those two videos, are they your class brother? Are they your working class brothers in the class struggle? I don't think so. They laugh at people like you. Right, but getting back to those two videos, regardless why they felt the need to assemble in such large numbers, in such a threatening way, and beating up those they deemed far right, let's just say they had legitimate reasons for assembling it and, and carrying on in the manner they did. Who would want that lot living amongst them that at the drop of the hat could mobilize hundreds? start bouncing down the streets, flexing its muscles and intimidating and beating up those it didn't agree with or those it felt were opposed to them or whatever. Who would want, go on, ask yourself, who would want that lot living amongst you? Well, unfortunately, communities around the country have to put up with them living amongst them. And that's why it's in our interest now to stop further cultural change of our glorious city because that's where it ends. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're seeing now in Bolton, Middlesbrough, Blackburn, Stoke, and many other places around the country where they've allowed this subculture to embed itself amongst the broader community that's got nothing in common with them, doesn't want to assimilate, integrate, it just wants to dominate. That's what has happened to these communities and will happen to our glorious city. If we allow this to happen, if we let it to happen, if we let this happen, that's why we must oppose fear the cultural chain. They're not all uh, class brothers in the class struggle, or working class brothers in the class struggle, the complete opposite. They're from a different culture, ways, beliefs, values, right? That have got nothing in common with ours, our Scouse ones, right? One look at it and you know Joe Owens is telling the truth. Allah Akbar is their battle cry, right? If they love this country, then we, we, where was all the Union Jacks? Where's all the, uh, the flags they're carrying? Well, exactly, right? Reckless, foolish politicians, Labour and Conservative, have allowed this mess to happen. We see bouncing around towns and cities now, beating up those it deems far right. We have the crystal ball, we'd be foolish to ignore that. We've got to stop this happening to our glorious city because if we don't, our children and grandchildren are going to curse us because that's what they're going to inherit, right? We must stop this now. It's not race hatred, it's not prejudice, it's not even far right. It's the awful truth, I'm afraid, right? But these politicians 
don't want to deal with. That's what they'll do now. They'll brush the issue of cultural change under the carpet while they uh, fight the bogus, mythical, media-created far-right. Ian Byrne and Kim Johnson and the rest of them on the steps of St George's Hall pretending to be champions of the scout working class opposing the evil far right. What a load of nonsense. It's all about hearing your own voices. It's all about you. It's all about spoon feeding your ego, right? If you really cared about what's happening to our glorious city, you'd be opposing the cultural transformation it's undergoing because the two videos you've watched, just watched, that's where it leads. That's where it ends, right? We don't want this for our glorious city. This is Liverpool. That's not Scouse what you've just watched and never will be. In fact, it doesn't want to be. That's why we must oppose fear the cultural change. Let's not let these politicians use the events that have happened the last week, tragic and disturbing, as an excuse to hide cultural change, sweep cultural change under the carpet, should I say, right, while they fight the year. Uh, mythical evil far right because that's what they're going to do while right, you can see the articles in the Liverpool Echo by Liam Thorpe yeah and, it, and it's granted it, it's warranted in some cases where you've had mindless vandalism and what I understand right but there is an issue here that still needs dealing with and that's the cultural transformation of our glorious city right the two videos you've just watched ladies and gentlemen right who wants that here in Liverpool? Where we've got a community at the drop of a hat if it feels upset can mobilise in such large numbers in such a frightening and scary way and beat up those it doesn't agree with or those it deems far right. No, we don't. But we can see this now sinking its roots in Kensington and Fairfield, Smith Down Road, Lawrence Road, other parts of Waverley, and other parts of the city, Breck Road, County Road. Prescott Road, West Derby Road. We have to oppose this, ladies and gentlemen, because trust me, Bolton, Middlesbrough, Blackburn, Stoke, and many other towns and cities across the country didn't have this problem at one time. They put faith in their politicians that they were going to deal with it. Don't worry, we'll deal with this cultural change. And they didn't. And the rest is history. We have the crystal ball. It would be foolish to ignore that, right? We can't put faith in these politicians because they're just not going to address it. And so in any forthcoming elections, you've got to find a candidate opposed to further the cultural change that's reliable and credible and give them your vote. Whether or not that's Reform UK or whoever. Because these politicians are not going to deal with the awful truth. On a final note, ladies and gentlemen, right? Just watch them two videos. Do we want that in our city? No, we don't. No to cultural change. Yes to Scouse pride. Shout it out loud. Scouse and proud. Okay, thank you.